Now, the South Korean car maker Hyundai has apologised and pulled an online advert that depicted a man trying to kill himself with exhaust fumes in one of its cars. The advert goes on to show that the man failed in his suicide attempt because the car had 100% water emissions. Of course, as you can imagine, there have been a number of complaints on social media. The company's advertising agency issued this statement. The intention of the viral video was to employ hyperbole to dramatise a product advantage, culminating in a positive outcome. C clearly, we were mistaken and we sincerely apologise. So how can a major company like this make that sort of mistake? Well, with me is Will Baxter, Managing Director of Will Be Brand Consultants. Uh, Will, <laughs> tell me how damaging this is to Hyundai. Well, in the short term, it's, it's terrible. terrible. But in the long term, as we've seen with similar events of uh, this kind, with Toyota, with their brakes in the past, a couple of years ago, people generally do uh, move on and forget about it. And so in a year's time, this won't be in the news. Well, does it tell us anything about modern marketing techniques, if anything? Well, with my branding company, whenever we go to the client, we always give them uh, three options. So one's a safe conservative option, middle ground one, and then a, an extreme option. And 99% uh, of the time, our clients choose the middle option. Um, on this occasion, they've, they've, they've really gone all out there. And um, advertising is to connect and connect with our emotions and elicit a response and this is exactly what this one has done um, on this occasion they've gone too far yeah. and my personal feelings are that uh, I'm very sorry for anybody who's been uh, hurt and affected by this one but we've got to learn um, learn from our mistakes on this one the other thing is Citroen did a very similar advert to this in 2002 mm. with a man in a car trying to commit suicide back then now that was before social media took off um, and the return uh, back to Citroen was nothing like it has been today. Um, the other thing that Hyundai have got with all of this is a fantastic opportunity to just be honest, stand up and say, it's our mistake. What they haven't done mm. in this instance, they blamed their, um, their consultancy firm, which is a branding company, company a bit like myself, um, which they shouldn't be doing. They should be taking responsibility for I mean, their does, actions. Does that sound credible to you? Shifting the blame, do you think that's exactly what happened? I, I think the tendency when it's online, rather than a big TV advertising, is you think it's not that important. But it is, it's just as important. And when you're buying a car, you're buying Hyundai, you're buying the brand, you're buying the quality. You're not just buying a car that gets you from A to B, you're buying a lifestyle. Especially if you see the adverts nowadays. So everything has to be perfect. So they are to blame. Okay, well, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much for joining us. Will, Will Baxter there.